Okay, it is true that you can reconstitute. Wash. So all those tubes, those tubes that you have, drag wash in the cabinet can be resurrected. So all you gotta do is pulverize it. So the first thing to do is you take the uh, um, empty tube that you want to reconstitute, actually not empty but dried tube. So the, the gouache paint is, is dried in these tubes here. And what I want to do is open them up, take a razor blade, or you can take a uh, safety knife, and slit through the back, and then you open it up. See, there's all the pigment that's in there, all dried up. And uh, just peel it right back. You can see the uh, dried chunks. Okay. Oh. So if I can get that out of the nozzle. Sometimes you have to uh, help it through. Okay, next step is to take the glass muller, nice little tool, it's just a piece of, of uh, inch uh, glass rod that's been snipped and then sanded down. Okay, so let's start off pulverizing this piece of Venetian red solidified pigment. And um, so gouache has the gum arabic and uh, sometimes uh, ox gall. The gum arabic uh, is the glue that holds it all together and when it dries. So when the water evaporates out of the mixture of paint, the gum arabic is this, the binder, and the ox gall just helps it to flow better. Some manufacturers uh, of gouache will not put the ox gall in to their paint, and uh, they, they give the uh, artist the option to do that because it affects how it flows apparently. Okay. So we all know that the difference, the main difference between watercolor and gouache is that the gouache dries opaque. And the reason it dries opaque is it has another component, and that is the calcium chloride, which acts as a um, as a filler which will then uh, refract the light differently than just uh, transparent watercolor so it creates it makes it opaque or cloudy okay. and also you know that uh, the gouache or opaque watercolor dries significantly lighter than uh, than it appears in its wet form. And regular transparent watercolor does the same thing, only not as much. So the color in transparent watercolors, although darker, does not the the uh, dried state of the color is not as distinctly different. Okay, see that? Now we've got um, some powdered Venetian red. 
which has the gum arabic and the calcium chloride in there, possibly the ox gall. All there's a powder form. Okay. And the next thing to do is to add some water, rehydrate it. And this is my little screwdriver, which is not really intended to do this, but the pallet knives are across the room, so I'm just using this for now. And uh, just a little bit, see that? Just like making dough. Just like making dough. Careful, you don't want to add too much. You just want a little, little bits at first. Otherwise, you're going to end up with uh, a big dish of paint of colored water, which will take quite a while to evaporate. And uh, we'll just be sitting around your studio until they're thick enough after losing their moisture from just air evaporation. So, to avoid that, uh, just add a little water at a time. And uh, my experience is that you have to just let it sit for a little while too. So, see all the powdered Paint, powder Venetian paint is, has either congealed because of the water or I haven't ground it uh, small enough, combination of probably both. So I'm just going to add a little more water. And it even might be too much water. But I'm just going to let it soak for a while. Okay. So, that'll soak for a while. And, uh, now here are examples of paint that I've reconstituted. This is a um, yeah, permanent green light, which I don't normally use, but I had so much dried up that I thought, what the heck, let's check it out. So I did the same thing, I ground it up, and you see I'm letting it sit and soak. And this was really crumbly not too long ago and you can see it's getting it's getting nice and creamy. Now here is some ultramarine blue that I reconstituted and you can see it's just blue water. And I put way too much water in it. Okay, but it's it's almost soaked through and this is just going to have to evaporate. That's an intense color though. Could use it just out of the can like this. Just put some uh, plastic wrap over the top and get yourself a can of opaque watercolor.